guys so i'm up early about to do some prep some food prep for the week it's actually going to be for the keto bagels that i'll be making um for breakfast one of these days this week so i decided to go ahead and basically prep the bagels a day before because the recipe does call for almond flour and i noticed whenever i make recipes with almond flour it takes about a day or so for that food to actually set in place if that makes sense i also will go ahead and list the recipe below in my description box this recipe only uses one egg and that's absolutely perfect for me because i hate eggs you guys go ahead and check out the link in my description box if you want the exact measurements to everything i'm gonna go ahead Head and start on the bagels for tomorrow's breakfast. So you guys, I'm starting by melting my cheese mixture. I'm adding some mozzarella shredded cheese along with about one ounce of just regular cream cheese in a bowl. You're going to want to heat this mixture in the microwave for 30 seconds at each time until you get a nice like gooey consistency that you can work with as your dough. So this is how the cheese mixture looks after it has been microwaved for 30 seconds. You wanna use a fork to just mix everything together. So that's what I'm doing here now. I'm gonna place this mixture, this cheese mixture, back in the microwave again. This is how it looks at another 30 second interval of heating. As you can see, it's easier to work with. It is still just a little bit too tough for me, so I am going to reheat it just one more time. So this is the consistency that I was pretty much looking for. You can tell there's a lot of stretch with it. I'm going to be able to work with it when I'm actual, actually forming the dough for my bagels. So I'm gonna add in the almond flour here next, mixing everything together. I'll list the link to this recipe that I use below in my description box so you guys can get the exact measurements for everything. But I added in one egg to that mixture and a little baking powder to help the bagels to rise when baking. I'm gonna mix all of that together with this fork until I form um, a ball for the dough. Once everything has been mixed together, I make sure to oil my hands first with a little bit of coconut oil so this bagel dough won't stick to my hands when I'm forming them. I'm pinching off pieces from this large amount of dough to form five bagels. Now this recipe should have made six bagels, but I believe I made one too big. But pretty much all you're going to do is roll the bagel dough between your hands to form a log and then connect each end to make a circle. So that's what I'm doing here for the bagels. To top the bagels off, I'm going to coat them with Kerrygold butter. The recipe calls for egg wash, but I decided to use butter instead to get like a nice brown crust on top of the bagels. I'll also um, sprinkle cinnamon and sugar over two of the bagels to create like a cinnamon sugar crust. I'm using the Swerve sugar replacement um, confectioner sugar, by the way. I'm gonna place these bagels in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes, and that's going to be it. you guys look at the bagels i don't know if this is like picking up what i'm showing but they got super golden brown on the outside remember i didn't use an egg wash for my bagels i actually just um sort of drizzled a little carry gold butter on top because i hate eggs so i didn't want to add like an extra eggy taste they are super golden brown from that butter i like how they came out they look good hopefully they taste good these are the cinnamon sugar bagels back here in the back as you can see, the cinnamon sort of toasted into the bagel a little bit. And then again, the other three are just plain bagel. They did get much thicker in the oven, so I like that. I am gonna let them cool down. Hopefully, I don't know how they um, store, like how they'll taste tomorrow, because I am going to use them tomorrow for my um, little breakfast sandwich. But this is how they're looking, you guys. They look good. Hopefully, they taste good. I'm gonna let them cool a little more, and I'll come in, cut through it, and show you guys how the inside looks. Bagels. They smell good. Wait, that's the cinnamon raisin, the cinnamon one you eat. Yeah, I know. Okay. They're not bad though. It's not bad at all. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't you feel like they're good? Yeah. They are. Are you telling the truth? I'm for real. 
Like how they feel on the inside? Does it give you like a bread taste? It give me a bread taste, yo. You taste the cheese too? Mm-hmm. Made it with cheese on it? It's basically cheese. That's really what it is. It's only like three quarter cups of almond flour and the rest is cheese. I definitely taste the cheese. It's good. Right? I'm fucking with it. Okay. For real. Hey you guys, I'm coming to make those keto sausage and cheese bagels that I was telling you guys about yesterday. I have some butter melting here in the pan, go butter. This is going to melt down so that I can pan fry my sausage. I got three sausages from Walmart. Let's take a look at the macros. So for one patty, it has eight grams of fat and then less than a gram of carb. So this is really good. I'm gonna fry up the sausage. I'm going to reheat those bagels in this pan, so I'll try to come back and refilm that. Gonna add like a slice of cheese to that, and that's going to be breakfast. breakfast it's the keto sausage and cheese bagel I have five strawberries here just cut in half so I am gonna go and enjoy my breakfast and I'll come back to you guys for the for my next meal of the day so I have shredded lettuce at the bottom I have the um, ground sirloin next and then I have some cheese on top this is extra sharp shredded cheese I have about a quarter of a tomato chopped up over here and then about a tablespoon of sour cream on top and that's going to be dinner you guys so you guys I wanted to come back with my total macros for the day as you can see I had a total of 1080 calories my lunch today which was the sausage and cheese bagel along with the five strawberries was a total of 452 calories I had a half of another bagel so I did update that so it was a little more it increased my macros for the day but I made sure to log it for dinner I had a taco salad so I listed the ingredients here my taco salad was a total of 627 calories I did go back for um, seconds after the bowl I showed you that so here's a final look at the macros or my total macros for the day as you can see my carbohydrate intake was at 15 grams so I definitely hit my carb um, goal for the day or stayed below it actually so that's good as far as my fat goal goals I hit a little bit under it but I'm okay with it um, it definitely could have been higher my protein was a little bit higher than it should have been but it was okay I'm satisfied with today's results especially with my carbon take so yeah that's it for today's what I eat in a day on keto I will see you all in my next video bye